Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And if you guys, this is another Lego Star Wars video. Today we're tackling uh, essentially the topic of why Lego Star Wars is so popular, why it's so special, and why it's so freaking awesome. So uh, today is a January 2nd. Uh, sorry, February 2nd. I had to look at my calendar there. Uh, crazy, we're already in February. February 2nd. Tomorrow, Wednesday, February 3rd, is apparently another LEGO episode of the Bits and Bricks podcast, which was delayed two weeks. Uh, essentially, TT Games and a bunch of guys are celebrating 25 years of LEGO games by kind of putting um, random uh, topics of videos and they delayed it for two weeks, and we're all speculating, oh, maybe they delayed it two weeks because they're waiting for Skywalker Saga news. Who knows? Point of the message is tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow is another Bits and Bits podcast, we imagine, <clears throat> and hopefully that means we are getting another uh, you know, LEGO Star Wars news because the last real concrete bit of news we got was August 27th of 2020, which is uh, the gameplay trailer from way back when. And that's when it said spring 2021. Now, newsflash, spring 2021 is very, very close. It's <laughs> really freaking close. <clears throat> so I really hope that they actually kind of uh, give us news. You know, we're in that element. We're in that time frame where we deserve to get news. If it is coming out in spring 2021, we're really close to that uh, news gap. And we need to get it. You know what I mean? We need to get it fast. Um, but essentially, Lego is, of course, Lego is a toy meant for kids, teenagers, and adults. It really is a property for all ages. And that's a fact. And it it, it, it it reaches so many different people across the world. It's freaking amazing, man. Lego is just a toy that anyone can get into. Uh, and then, then, hey, we'll make Lego, movie, uh, Lego movies, Lego TV shows, Lego uh, books, Lego video games. And that is when kind of uh, TT Games kind of got into the fray and uh, started making... Because the, the first video game... Now, Traveler's Tales was a company that did things before, <coughs> uh, you know, all, all the Lego games... Uh, but this is really when TT Games became TT Games truly in 2005, right? 2005 was a big, big, one of the biggest years for Star Wars. We had Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, come out, which was the end of the uh, Star Wars saga until uh, the sequels came out, so it really wasn't. Um, we had Star Wars Battlefront 2 come out, which is a great game. I have it on the PS2, and I have it uh, on my Xbox One, backwards compatibility. And Lego Star Wars The Video Game came out in 2005, which covered Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, Two, uh, Attack of the Clones, and three, Revenge of the Sith. And uh, that was the beginning of TT Games, man. That was the beginning of the LEGO games as we know them today. Uh, and then that brings me to Star Wars, right? Star Wars, now, in my opinion, <clears throat> my opinion, I don't think Star Wars is appropriate for kids. I think that Star Wars is good for older teenagers and up, not children, but that's just me. Um, I wouldn't show a kid Star Wars. It's just far too violent. But uh, Star Wars is something that kids like and adults and teenagers like it really is a great franchise it's probably my second or first favorite franchise you guys know me all star wars is good i do have some problems with some of the movies especially the prequels but when i look at it all i just finished watching episode one two and three and my next movie is going to be solo um the prequels have problems but they are very fun and enjoyable movies they're canon they're great and again i love all of star wars so to, to have star wars a fantastic franchise and lego a fantastic franchise kind of go together to create Lego Star Wars toy sets in 1999 when The Phantom Menace came out, the first prequel. Uh, the first movie in the Skywalker Saga, we had Lego Star Wars toys, and kids, adults, teens, everyone was getting their hands on these toys. And then in 2005, Lego Star Wars the video game came out. In 2006, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, came out. Lego Star Wars uh, the Complete Saga was in 2007. Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, which is the first two seasons of The Clone Wars, came out in 2011. And, of course, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens in 2016. Uh, with Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga coming out spring of 2021, as we know it right now. And, uh, you know, I'm not even talking about the games here, but Lego Star Wars, man, the toys are awesome. The video games that we've gotten so far, all the ones I just mentioned besides The Skywalker Saga, they're amazing. Uh, the Lego Star Wars The Freemaker Adventures, not canon, sadly, but... The first two, the two seasons of the Freemaker Adventures, I have them. They're on Disney Plus, and they're freaking outstanding, man. They're really funny, uh, really action packed. A great story, really, really well voice acted. Great action. It's it's just it's, it's fantastic. If you have not seen the Freemaker Adventures, go check it out. Uh, Lego Star Wars: The Padawan Menace, The Empire Strikes Out, uh, Yoda Chronicles, um, Droid Tales, all the Lego Star Wars shorts. These are probably some of the funniest animations I've ever seen in my life. Because what those LEGO Star Wars half-hour specials are doing, they're not necessarily making fun of Star Wars. 
But Lego knows that people love Star Wars, but they also know that people kind of joke around with Star Wars. You know, like people go, oh, Leia in The Last Jedi, she flew around like Mary Poppins. Now that is, not, of course, incorrect. She force-pulled herself. Um, you know, Palpatine jumping around the room in Revenge of the Sith, kind of flipping around like a moron, doing like these little twirly moves. They make fun of that. You know, Lego knows how to joke around with Star Wars without outright making fun of Star Wars. So they do a really good job of that. And uh, it's really, really exciting to kind of, you know, it's so freaking fun. Because, again, I know everything about Star Wars for the most part. Canon. Um, I love it all. So I know a lot. I, you know, I, I, I like to know I know basically everything about canon Star Wars. And um, it's just funny to see Lego kind of joking around with the, you know, I mean, it, like I said, they're not outright making fun of it, but they're kind of tw toying with it in a way, no pun intended, to actually make it really, really funny, you know what I mean, because it's already funny, but then you add these extra Easter eggs and these extra bits, you know, and the, the, the voice actors come back, the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special, man, was effing awesome, the original Holiday Special was ass, I'm not gonna lie, that was pre pretty bad, um, thank God that ain't canon, but, um, the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special, man, that was something special, that was really, really funny, really, really good, um, and I, you know, I really enjoyed it, it's a great Christmas special, it's a great Star Wars special, I really enjoyed it. Um, and, of course, the future, we're getting way more LEGO Star Wars sets with, of course, the everything Disney uh, brought out with the sequel trilogy, Solo, Rogue One, The Clone Wars. Um, I think they have a few Rebel sets, I, uh, Mandalorian sets. They don't have any for the Resistance, or Star Wars Resistance, which is a great underrated show, by the way. Um, I don't think they have anything regarding that, but, uh, you know, they're, they're doing a good job with producing sets for the new stuff. And then, of course, we get the new LEGO Star Wars specials, like the holiday special, we get the... Uh, you know, I really wanted them to make, a, uh, you know, like the Lego movie, the Lego Ninjago movie, the Lego Batman movie, the Lego movie 2. I wanted them to make the Lego Star Wars movie. I don't think that's ever going to happen now because Universal owns it, but, you know, whatever. Um, Lego Star Wars was in the Lego movie 1, though. Han Solo, Chewbacca, Lando, the Millennium Falcon, they were in that. So, you know, they kind of find a way to put things into things. Um, but, of course, the, the big topic is... a you know, of course, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, the big game coming out spring of 2021, spring of this year. Hopefully we get news. Again, tomorrow is Wednesday. I really pray and hope we get actual concrete news tomorrow. I will be covering it. A lot of LEGO Star Wars YouTubers, I don't really have any big grudges against them, but a lot of them, not going to name names, but you guys know them, they do pr they do produce well-crafted content, but they produce too much content. Almost every day there's a new video about speculations, or release date, and community, all this crap, and it's like, yeah, we get it. You, you want to make news on this game. You're excited. I get it, but the reason why I'm not making video after video after video of this game like so many other guys is I'm kind of like Blitzwinger, Game of Boxing Reviews, uh, Jay Shockblast, all these guys. Uh, they and myself cover news when it is deserved to be covered. I'm not going to make a 20-minute video or a 10-minute video or a 7-minute video talking about, you know, one specific thing. Oh, Babu Frick's in the game. Oh, man, i got to make a video. You know what I mean? I don't do that. And again, no, no hating on them. They do what they want to do. But I don't do that. You know, I cover this game when we get official, real news. Nothing speculation. So if we do get news tomorrow on February 3rd, on a Wednesday, again, I will be covering it. So if you want real news on this game and not just speculation, again, no hate. I'm really not hating. So if any of you guys are watching this video, don't freak out on me here. Um, you have good content. I'm just simply saying that I cover the content in ways that isn't oversaturation of the content. You know, uh, of the content or of the market, so to speak. I, I, I try to cover the news when it's real news and it's the big things, you know, like the August 27th gameplay trailer. When we do get another trailer, when we do get a release date, I will be covering it on the channel. I will be buying, and uh, my family and I do plan on going to either Disney World or Hilton Head uh, relatively around May-ish. Uh, so I don't know when the, if this game comes out close to when we're leaving. I might have to take a hiatus from the game. However... If life works out, uh, I will be buying the game, unboxing the game, and playing the entirety of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga on my channel with my commentary with HD quality gameplay. Hope you guys will enjoy that. I can't freaking wait for this game. But again, guys, really, to wrap up, LEGO Star Wars is not just LEGO Star Wars. It is a big freaking deal. You know, you have the LEGO toys, the, uh, the TV shows, the comics, the, the fact that LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens... Yeah, it covered the events of Episode 7, The Force Awakens, but there are missions in that LEGO game that are actually canon. So, yes, you're playing a LEGO video game, but you're actually covering canon material, like how uh, C-3PO got his right arm, which I never freaking played because it's only on PlayStation. F you. Um, you know, you have the missions where Han Solo and Chewbacca capture the Raptors. How that kind of goes, you know, because Han Solo in The Force Awakens, he's like, you know, we used to have a bigger crew. 
and they're like, what was that main horn? You know, so you actually get to discover that in this game. Um, so a lot of things like that are really, really awesome about The Force Awakens game. But again, Lego Star Wars, man, is a great franchise. One of the best franchises Lego was ever melded with and meshed with um, and purchased. I cannot wait for the Skywalker Saga. Tell me in the comments if you're excited. What planet are you most excited to visit in the Skywalker Saga? Mine would have to be probably Crate or Cantle Bite or maybe like Naboo or Coruscant, something like that. Tatooine, uh, Jakku. I love all these planets. Again, you guys know me. All Star Wars is good. If you want positivity about everything Star Wars, no hate whatsoever, uh, please, again, consider subscribing. There's too many of these fake fans and uh, clickbaiting bullcrappers on YouTube making profit off people's stupidity. I'm not one of those. So, again... Positivity on Star Wars. Concrete Lego Star Wars news when we get it. That actually counts. Uh, again, guys, I cannot wait for this news. Hopefully it comes soon. We're in that realm where we should be getting news. And, uh, again, hope you enjoyed. I just kind of had random stuff, trailers and whatever, regarding to Lego Star Wars in the background. Uh, again, you know, sorry I didn't post Monday, but I had school. I have college on Monday, so... Uh, you know, I mean, I do stuff every day, but I actually log in Monday, so... It's probably why I don't, I don't post on Monday, but... Anyway, again... Uh, the future of Star Wars is very bright, the past was very bright, and the present is looking bright indeed. Again, LEGO Star Wars news, be here. Uh, I can't wait to cover it. All Star Wars is good. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.